my goodness. Hello, my good creative friends. <laughs> I am currently leaning. Oh, you don't know if you can see a little bit of my face in there. On top of a massive box of Jane Davenport supplies. And I suppose these are what you call the perks of having a close good friend who uh, designs art supplies. This is what happens. She sent me, lovely Jane sent me this an insane amount of her amazing new art line <clears throat> with spellbinders. And I'm going to be doing a, an unboxing video of this amazing crazy amount of awesome art supplies and then I'll be making some art with some of these supplies. I don't think I can incorporate them <laughs> all but I'm super excited to go and have a look at this really beautiful stuff. Uh, I had a little quick look beforehand and I know some of her new line a little bit and I understand that it's kind of inspired by makeup so I, like, I think makeup um, is something that Jane, you know, Jane's quite interested in and I must admit as well that I'm really impressed with the makeup guys out there on YouTube who are just incredible when that comes, it's an art form in itself, you know when they do like all their beautiful kind of um, layering and it's like similar to what we do mixed media wise they they really it, like it's like they <clears throat> just basically paint themselves and um, it's a real skill I'm always really impressed by it so it looks like and Jane I think is following or she likes a couple of these people and her new uh, line is sort of inspired by makeup uh, products such as this I think is kind of lipstick these are lipsticky like I wonder if they are, are matte gel pastels. So I don't know um, what kind of paints uh, are inside many of these products. So let's have a look. Of, let's look through this amazing box of. Um, so I did open a couple. Oh, I'd say look. This is a pen. <laughs> so I've opened this one already up, and it's uh, in the shape of a feather, and it's kind of like a cool. Um, like it's got a bit of a. I don't know if you see this, but like a pointy. You can sort of do calligraphy a little bit with it. It's not quite a calligraphy pen, but it's really quite nice. Tried it a bit before. And so kind of she gave me pretty much all of the uh lipsticky colours. Um, so I'm really kind of kind of cool. I love this colour. I like the kind of lavender colour. Um or light lilac-y. I'm gonna try out some of those. Um let's have a look. So then also I understand that there is this, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually put this on the floor of the box so that I can you can see it um, against the better bloody hill, uh, against the better background. So I'm gonna zoom in as well on it. These guys apparently are like chalky pastels. You know, like the do you remember pan pastels? Uh, some of you may be familiar with them. So I think they are like that. So they're called shimmery pastels. So they're kind of chalky, powdery, if you know what I mean. And you can apply them with special brushes. I think that have come out as well. Let me just grab a couple for you. Here. Oh look, and these are, oh that's very cool, look that's the same. So these are um, like these have different colors within each. So these look like eyeshadow, how cool is that? <laughs> that's very cool. Oh even more, look at that. Oh I've got two of the same. No, no, there's different colors. Lots of skin tone there. I think I might use, I'm not sure if you meant to use these sponges with uh, so I haven't been able to look at Jane's, you know, all of Jane's um, uh, tutorials, but if you are interested in any of her products and how to use them, I know for sure that on her side I think she uses, um, she she demonstrates how to use each of the products. So I think you look, see these even look like um, what you might use for eyeshadow, you see. So we can try and use this on paper. It's quite cool. I was thinking of like using it for actual shading on a face. So I'm thinking of trying out some of these and then these sponges are very cool. I don't know quite blend in to blend. So to blend, okay. And then there's also, what is in here? These, oh, these are pens, I think. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So these are cool pens. These are called the ultimate pens. I will be trying out some of these pens. Uh, I have a black one as well that I also already tried out. So pens are brilliant. I like using pens. The other things I'm really intrigued to try out uh, are 
this is a makeup set. Let me just move this out of the way. So this is a, again, it looks like a makeup set, but actually I think this is acrylics paint and you can mix, if you want to go darker skin tone, you can mix it with this darker brown or you can lighten the skin tone with this uh, other paint. And so this is matte, matte finish acrylic paint. So this could be really handy again for my face face shading. So I might com try and combine a bit of this. I have never really used pastels, like chalk. I have. Uh, I used to, when I used to use like the actual crayons or the pastels themselves, but I haven't used them as mixed in with mixed media. So that's going to be like fascinating because <laughs> that might not work. I don't know. Uh, it might be a bit odd, like the, the combination. Oh, this is very cool. This feels very heavy. I don't know why it feels heavy. So look at this. So cool. Oh, magnetic personality. Why is it called magnetic? So, why is it so heavy? And then more in there. Oh, the tin. It's probably the tin itself. So these look, again, they look amazing like um, makeup brushes. You see that? But they're paint brushes, I assume. So let me just open this. I'm intrigued to see why it's heavy. I think it maybe comes with the tin, possibly? or. And of course, what I love about um, Jane's um, supplies is that they all come with these beautiful, yeah, it's a tin, beautiful, um, um, Images of her art. Oh wow, this is very cool. So really heavy, heavy. Oh. oh, look at this! Paint till you faint. How cool is this? So you meant to? I don't know what it's what it's for. The actual tin itself. Is it? Oh, maybe it tells me here. It's magnetic metal brush holder. Oh my God! You can hang the brush. Oh my goodness, everyone! Look at this. I can hang the brushes in here. That is very cool. I can't show you because I have to... I don't know if you can see this, but basically it's... So the thing is magnetic and it hangs the brushes up if you hold it upright. That is very cool. You see? So it's... Basically these are... They just hang. <laughs> what a cool... What a cool... Oh, this is a very... That's very strong. This magnet is stronger in there. So these are magnetic brushes. How awesome is that? I wonder about the brush um, types. So I have a really specific need usually for brushes. Like I like them firm, but s so soft hairs, but firm. And these feel pretty similar to what I use. Uh, you know, because you know, like brushes are very personal, aren't they? For everyone. Okay, cool. This is very cool. Magnetic something. The magnetic brush holder. Aha! I love it. So I'm gonna um, put that there. So that's for brushes. That's that one if you're interested. Called metal brush holder. Mag magnetic personality, if you're interested in that. It's like um, when you don't use the boxes anymore, it's a sheet I just don't want to throw it away because it's got all these lovely pictures on there. I just kind of want to keep the boxes. Right, so these are what I'm going to possibly use for the pastels, the little brushes. And then these paints I'm excited to try on a face. And then there's more, everyone. It's not, um, they've been very generous. That's interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna get, keep these here. I don't know what, like, I'm wondering what sort of compare, what to compare the type of paint to. So I know that Jane used to really love her, um, still probably loves the Serem coat, and I'm wondering if it's a similar type or different. Or... Right, so what else did I get? So some, what are these? This is, what is this? So this is, Making faces, 18 face charts on mixed media paper. So are these pre-done, pre-done, or I don't know. Let me look. Have they got like, is this like a coloring type book or? It's like it's Christmas all over again. Man, there's probably a way to open it that I'm not familiar with. Last time when I did an unboxing with Jane stuff, I uh, was using it in the wrong way, and if everyone, all of you went, no, it's got sticky back. Do you remember the washi, the washi paper? <laughs> so I have done this before, like when I was using golden uh, fluid acrylics for the first time, I tried to keep, keep um, um, taking the cap off, but yeah, not meant to take the cap off. It's a, uh, it's like an applicator cap or something. <laughs> so I do that sort of thing. This is me. I'm a bit, I'm just a tad bit. Um, oh, cool. So you can practice, is it for practicing shading? Hey, look, you see all these different type of faces on here. Very cool, very cool. It's nice. So you've got your pre-done Jane faces and bodies. OK, 
characters. That's very cool. Oh, cool. So that you could try. I don't. Um, I'm not that great with working on uh, mixed media paper myself, but I'd like to give that a go, or maybe glue part of it in my journal or something. So I think this might be similar. Ah, but this is on surfaces on what? What type of surface is this? Is that also? Texture is different on both sides. So I don't know what type of paper this is, but it's kind of similar to the mixed media book, but not the same. So can you get the um, pre? Oh, cool. Okay, so you get pre-drawn um, faces, and this is definitely. It feels a bit more canvassy, actually. That's cool. So these are all like, oh, nice. So yeah, if you want to practice like shading and or, you know, uh, embellish Jane type faces, that's very cool. And then it comes with extra pages as well. Wow, cool. Okay, so I could even use one of these to put in my journal or something, I might do. And what are these? So these are foundation layer sets. So these are, if you want to, not if you're like, like to use sort of templates of her, her of face designs. And it comes also with a piece, one little canvas, I think. It feels like it's backed by a little canvas you could work on. Has it got only one, or I don't know how many? Don't break it now again, Tam. <laughs> oh yeah. So this looks like it's canvas, which is cool. Like a little cardboard uh, canvas board. And then here you have these, I think that's what you use the sponges possibly for, to get the, um, you know, the face is uh, outlined first and then you can build them up. I think she's got several... Di oh, here, I can actually open it properly without using my scissor. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Okay, so... Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, all right. So you can have, like, your face and then you choose your different eyes and maybe a flower or something in the hair. So these are, like, stencils that you can use for basic beginnings. That's very cool. And then hair, adding hair to that's also super cool. So I've got that. These are here. What else? And then look, these can go, you can combine these. These are very cool. So these are um, like the rub-ons or they call them journal tattoos here. And you get, so you get different uh, types, types. So you get the kind of masks, you get some pre-done faces, crowns and flowers and eyes and that's all really cool because you can use, the, use them in your journals or add them to your own faces, you know. can combine all these different kind of elements. Very cool. I might use some of them uh, on my, on the, the journal that, I, or the journal page I'm going to do. So look what else I got. I got the bag. That's so cool because it does look like a makeup bag, you see, like, or a bathroom, you know, like a, not a makeup bag, but like a toiletries, where, you know, where you put all your if you go on holiday. So I assume these are all little bags that I can put all my supplies in. So inside come all the little cute bags. Very nice. I like getting, um, I like using other artists stuff for my own, you know, like makeup or whatever. Um, I have uh, florist, some flora for, for the body bags as well. These are all very cool. And beautiful art, of Jane's art on there. So pretty, look at that. This is fun. This looks a bit like, um, you know, like uh, modern art a little bit, doesn't it? Nice one. Very nice. So I can actually like end up like putting my art supplies in there, or I could use it for actual toiletries. It's going kind of nice. Yeah. Medicine or makeup or whatever. Okay, love that. Very nice, Jane. Now let's see what else I've got in my amazing box. Oh yeah. So one of the ones that I'm very excited about uh, trying out as well are the, the color sticks because I think they are similar or closest to the my beloved Neo Color 2 crayons and I work really well with them. So I'm really intrigued to try these out today to see how they kind of work uh, for me because I'm all, you know I'm quite set in my ways with my like supply so but you know I really like trying out new things and seeing how they how they work or how they how I can use them instead of other things and this is drama stick 
what are these? So I also got these, these are in tins that I, I love the tin stuff. Oh, this is more uh, eyeshadow as well. But let's have a look at the drama sticks because they look kind of interesting. I wonder about them. Owie. Cool, they're coming. Oh, look at that now. So you open up the, you take the tin out and then you have this beautiful uh, picture. Oh, you can take it out. Oh, that's nice. Glad. I'm glad because I thought, oh, that was just sad. It's in the inside. Beautiful picture. What can I do here? Oh, ocean. Watching you making me cry. I don't know what I'm meant to do with this. Is that... You mean to put, oh, you mean to put the colours on there, aren't you? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, I'm so... I'm such a non... I don't know always how to, you know... Sorry. I was a bit like, not always up to date with everything. Here's another one. So here you can put your colours on. So look how beautiful, first of all, these tins are. My goodness, they're so nice, these tins. And then let's see what's inside. Ooh, oh, they're like proper eye, uh, you know, like I, uh, I was going to say eye crayons. That's not what we call them. <laughs> Makeup for the eyes. What's what that called again? Sorry, I can't. Look at that. Uh, ooh, let's have a look. I just want to see how. Oh, wow. Wow, it's properly sticky. Like, like lipsticky. I don't know if they're water soluble. Let's see. Soluble? Oh, they're a bit sticky. I think you meant to smudge them. Oh. Okay, cool. Let's try another one. So these feel more oil based then. Oh, this is my favorite color. And it comes with a little um, uh, sharpener as well. So the tins are just awesome. Okay, right. So, um, also she sent me the following brushes. This is so cool for like, if I'm working on like a major canvas or something, because these are really big brushes. I wonder if they're more watercolor brushes, actually. I wonder. Can do some cool big you know big sort of big things with big brush strokes and this is i think a, a, a brush cleaner yeah so this is a cleanser and you can scrub with that which is also cool um i should really use this i never clean my brushes everyone i'm so bad so it's kind of a good reminder for me to do that and then here we have like i said the color, color sticks are kind of similar although she, she did say they're not Entirely the same, uh, similar um, to the Neo Color Crayons. Let's have a quick look. Oh wow! Oh yeah, see, so they are kind of crayon-like, crayon-based. Um, should I really get some paper? Oh wow! It's very thick, like as a kind of a and slightly more. Whoa! Oh, I'm gonna love these. Look at that, everyone! Wow, they're very soft to apply. Like they're much uh, less scratchy than the Neo Color. And then they, as you could see, light up or really become activated. But then you do leave. See, you do leave a little bit of the scratches behind, which the same with the other ones. So you might just want to. You could probably do the same. Like you know what I do with the. You could probably do this if you don't like the, the marks. And then yeah. Oh, very cool. I'm gonna love these color sticks. I mean, this is the kind of these are the kinds of the supplies I work with already. And and the cool thing because they're sort of like lipsticks, yeah. So they're extra creamy, and then you can. I think the idea is that you. You, you turn it, twist it round like a lipstick if you want them up or down, I think. Oh, this way. You see? So you, I, was, I was twisting the wrong way. <laughs> oh, come on, sharpen. There we go. See? Cool. So when we go up, you just twist them. So it's like lipstick. So the concept is there. It's like lipstick. Very cool, Jane. Me likey. Okay, I think I'm going to really love the color sticks in particular. Um because they're the vibrant colors. So I've just get, send them to me in the two ranges. So these looks like to me like the mostly vibrant colors. And these have uh, more of a range of sort of muted and skin tone -y type colors. So 
Uh, you can get them in that. And then I also do want to try out one of those, lip those lipstick things. Um, there's a, they're also based on lipstick, aren't they? Or maybe I got that misunderstood that. Isn't this lipstick or is this foundation or something? I don't know what the inspiration exactly is. is. But let's uh, open one up and see what they do. Or... Oh, I had one open already here. So... Oh, you twist them round. And then, wow, look at that. <laughs> it comes out again like a proper lipstick. Okay, cool. I wonder if this is acrylics or... I, and if you're meant to apply it like this. What I like about applying it like this is that you don't, you're not going to get that much precision. So, you know how I, you could probably see here that I'm actually liking trying out... Uh, I'm working with paint, uh, more of a painterly approach. I mean, I like both the, the kind of really precise thing and the painterly thing, because there's a lot of freedom in the painterly thing. But I think if you're using these, it will give you a real much more... You can't be precise with this if you're deliberately choosing to use the actual... this, this the sticky thing. It will help you with uh, freedom, you know, by feeling a bit more free. So I can try and use some uh, of these in my... Creation. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, all of them. Smell. This one also smells of coconut. Maybe it's just all of them smell of coconut. And maybe it's not intended. <laughs> cool though. I like, like, you know how you, like I said, that you don't get a huge freedom to, or, you know, the precision doesn't come. And that's that can really help with kind of loosening up. So that's cool. Okay. Right, so I think I've gone through most, if not everything, that they've been sent. Thank you so much, Jane and Spellbinders, for sending this to me to play with. I'm super excited to, to get started with some art making and uh, incorporating some of these new supplies that I get to play with. I'm so blessed and lucky. Thank you. All right, guys, so I'm going to just set up uh, my uh, art desk. Um, look at this. Look at all of this goodiness. I'm going to set up my art desk uh, with some... Uh, with my journal, I think we're gonna do, I'm gonna work in my bigger journal. I can work on this little one, or I was thinking of working in my bigger, with my bigger journal, oops. Maybe do a kind of a fun face of some sorts. This is a, this is a journal that hasn't got a lot of faces in there. I might do another face with some flowers or something, and uh, use some of Jane's supplies, and see how I get on with it. Yeah, let's get started, hey? And. Um, Leave me a comment if you enjoyed this video and do remember to subscribe. I absolutely love, I try to do um, two videos a month and I'm hoping to increase that in the near future. So do keep an eye on this channel. And of course, if you're interested in any of these products that you can buy them at Michael's, I think. And I think for UK people, they're coming also to the UK at Hobbycraft, which is quite awesome, isn't it? Um, so yeah, so have a look and also on Amazon and I think they're and in, in Australia on Jane's site herself, obviously she sells them too. But um, um, yeah, so let's uh, make some art. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video and um, I look forward to um, hearing from you in the comments. All right, everyone, enjoy.
Thank you.
everyone so here's the final sort of final journal um, spread I really like it not so sure about this flower I keep faffing with it um, but uh, that's really what happened was because I've realized now that these color sticks are awesome and they're quite waxy what I mean by that is like it's it is it isn't really accepting even like acrylics over it so I'm struggling with like just changing the color um, for now. So that's the only sort of area that I'm currently might still work on to try and uh, get it more in line with this color or maybe we're more with that color. Other than that, really loving this spread. Really loved playing with the Jane Davenport new uh, supplies. Uh, one of my, one thing that I was really surprised with was that I really like using the soft pastels. So you, I used quite a bit for shading, as you may have seen, and I didn't realize that um, you can that you can kind of do some really subtle blending. I mean, it's kind of like I suppose I should have expected that because it's the pastel and the, even the uh, brushes that they come with. These guys are very, you know, obviously probably <laughs> really good for blending. But um, I was just happily surprised with how I could really, this pink here, the cheeks have been done with that. And also I added quite a bit of shading around the eyes and it gave it a really different type of effect compared to either using water soluble paints or even like acrylics, right? So I really liked the effect that it gave it sort of a softer, more, I don't know, blended uh, effect. And so I found myself using them more than I was expecting. Really like using them. I'm definitely gonna use more more, uh, use them more. The only downside I have to say though is that it's hard to go over pastels because they're so chalky and dry. Um, afterwards when I was trying to either draw over it or add something like even with Posca pen or with acrylics. Wasn't this, oh acrylics also didn't like it. Acrylics didn't like going over it so you have to if you do use them you have to remember or assume that or know for sure that you're not wanting to do something over the chalks and that might be an issue for mixed media people uh, like me because <laughs> I just layer and layer and layer and layer and continue on but I know you know once you get to know a particular supply you just remember that because I have the same with certain like you know let's say if you use the Stabilo Oil pencil you know that it's just deeply water soluble so you're gonna have to use it as a last step and so similar with these types of supplies when you don't use a certain type of supply a lot um, the moment you then know, like start to learn about it, you start to kind of know how to use it and when to use it in your process. But basically, really pleasantly surprised with pastel, pa pa pastels. What else did I use? So, oh, I love her rubbons. Obviously, the rubbons, yay. <laughs> I suddenly went, oh, forehead, that works perfectly. Very nice rubbons. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, also, so I used quite a bit of the, 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 the color sticks, are they called color sticks? Yeah. The color sticks, uh, which I do really like, they are, uh, depending on the color, a little bit more water soluble, than, <coughs> more water soluble than others. So that's common actually, like even amongst the crayons, some will um, activate more easily than others. It probably depends on the pigment or whatever. Um, and um, but they are quite waxy, um, and again, it's something that you just need to get used to. So I was kind of initially thinking oh they're like what like like the crayons so they'll just 
uh, blend or allow me to work over them with other supplies. And then I realized actually it isn't necessarily that easy to work over them with uh, with other supplies. So later on in the flower in particular. But this is all just like learning. So learning for if you're not used to certain supplies and then you're going to, you realize, oh, okay, I can't do that with this, but I can do that with that. And, you know, so... I really like them. I use them for the flowers. I used them, well there as well, but here you can see that was a, this was a combination of this and a Tombow marker. You need to just use them as the later step, not as the first step. If you if you want if you want to work over them, uh, and then I also use this um, this pen, which I didn't realize was uh, water soluble, which it seemed it it was, or perhaps it's water soluble only sort of around the you know when you. Oh, this is quite nice. Yeah, anyway, uh, only maybe when you've just added it, and maybe it'll dry waterproof. And then uh, once it's while, it's while it's still wet, you can probably add water to it. I like in the pens here. There is a little springy thing in the lid, which I think is possibly protecting the pen, or it might be already. I don't know trying to draw the ink for you. Okay, so draw it out of the pen is what I mean. See, so now, see, this is not water soluble now, or a little bit. So I think it's one of those that dries waterproof, but while wet, you can activate it. So that was an interesting pen. I used that in the eyes. And then, oh yeah, I also used bits, oh yeah, I've used some of these um, in the lips. And like I said, I like these particularly for doing um, just sort of details like little little splashes splotches so you know like what i'm doing now so a little bit of this a little bit of this it's not you can't really do like big painting with this um, but it gives you freedom and looseness which is what i really like plus all of these smell of coconut for some reason it's not actually coconut i realize now that it's actually not probably intended to smell like coconut <laughs> it's not coconut when you smell it up close it doesn't isn't actually coconut it's more of a chemically smell but i it smelled initially I thought it was they had created it to smell like coconut <laughs> anyway so yeah these are great for like little highlights like you may have seen at some point I was just did a dabby a little dab of this here and a little dab of that there which I think is really nice so you get your little highlights or your little you know little whatever like little dots or something or little details where you need a little something it's really handy these sure what type of paint this is because I tried to add water earlier because I thought this is uh, acrylics but it didn't sort of react to the acrylics very, uh, to the water very well so I'm unsure what kind of paint this is inside the lipsticky things what is this called but yeah you can do these kind of little dabby dots which are actually will add that's the thing they're quite pretty to Sort of add in that way. You see what I've did there? You see what I did there? I don't know if so. So or on the lips, you know, like little kind of glossy, glossy effects or something. It's really, this is a really cool thing for that. Okay, these I used. Um, I used the brush a little bit, one of the brushes, and they are. This is a pretty good brush, but my I'm so used to my own brushes that I kind of ended up using my own brush more because uh, I'm just, yeah, like I said, I'm used to my own brushes. And hang on, and this one was maybe small, too small or something. What was I doing with it? I needed a longer, I needed a longer or something, but then, so yeah, so, oh, and of course I used this and this was great. I like this a lot, the, the matchmaker paint. Uh, you squirt it out as if it's a foundation. Um, but it's basically a matte paint and it's good for, for a base skin tone. I really like that idea that uh, the you know the idea of using a foundation as a base for an, for painting of skin tone very clever. So yeah, so this is great. I'll definitely use all of that again. And did I use anything else Jane related? I think that that was it. Got got to use quite a bit of her supplies this time round. Sometimes it's hard to um, use obviously everything that I've been sent. Or even, you know, a lot of it, because I'm uh, the way I work might be mean that I don't really use that, those type of supplies. But I think this time I used quite a bit of the supplies and it was a joy to discover them, a joy and a pleasure to use them. 
and um, I'm feeling still so grateful for having had the opportunity to try them out and uh, again like I've had some pleasant surprises with regards to uh, for instance the pastels or some of the supplies and you know and how nice or the effects that I could achieve with them that I wasn't expecting so <laughs> I can continue on I would faff on for a while but this is pretty much excuse me this is pretty much where I'm gonna end it um, you know I might still add some words here or some journaling actually I might say some journaling there I really like how this color scheme actually ended up the pink against the teal and the orange nice I love her face he's got such a gentle smiley kind face like I said the flower here bugs me a bit but I can oh that was also sorry this this was one of um, Jane's stencils by the way so but I well, when it's completely transformed um, it's not no longer really her design now because I kind of ruined it um, well ruined I added to it but I mean again I'm not so happy with this flower so I would still work on this flower because it's just got now it looks more red and there's no red in this color there's a little bit in her mouth but it's too top heavy for me so I would work a bit more on this flower um, to try either to minimize it or I might even collage over it or something or or maybe I use teal to go over it if the wax accepts my <laughs> my attempt at tealifying it because the teal was a bit resistant to any towards any acrylics on top no the wax did I say that? yeah the wax was resistant did I say the teal I can't remember now sorry right so anyway so very nice I'm very happy with this uh, spread thank you all for watching if you enjoyed watching me um, draw and uh, create these spreads do consider first of all joining in some of my classes I run many classes and they are home so if you come on my classes you get lessons that are um, normal paced La, real life paste <laughs> sorry it's late I'm getting sleep drunk so please check out some of my classes I am on willowing.org www.willowing.org we're running something called life book as well that you might be interested in have a look around and if you've loved this uh, video do consider uh, subscribing to my channel and you can also click the little bell which means that you get notified each time I upload a photo uh, not a photo, a video. <laughs> and of course, um, major thanks to Jane Davenport. Check out her work and her supplies on janedavenport.com and also Spellbinders who are producing these fabulous supplies. All right, everyone. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you around. Much love. Bye.